What up, everybody, and happy Halloween. Scare your Halloween for the Bears this year, though, because the Cowboys smashed the Bears yesterday night. Let's go! Cowboys beat the Bears. NFL Week 8 smashed them. Beginning, they were going away. Bears made a slight comeback, but then the Cowboys took off with it. Like I said, start Pollard. Zeke is done. Get rid of Zeke. I'm tired of Zeke. A lot of Cowboy fans don't want to hear that, but he's, he's just took too many hits. In Ohio State, where he's at now, it's just time for Zeke to go. Pollard finally gets a start. Pollard shows what he can do. Like I've been saying in all my videos, give Pollard the start. James Robinson from Jacksonville was just recently traded a couple days ago. We should have got him. We need that workhorse back. Someone to give us, you know, 20 carries over 100 yards a game. Pollard can maybe do that, but he's a little bit smaller. Robinson's that back we needed. We should have got him. I've been saying it. Now we still need that, that one-two punch for Pollard. But the Cowboys stepped up this week. Z uh, Dak came back. He looked really good. He had one interception, but he had go touchdowns, and he had a rushing touchdown. Dak looked really good like he never missed a beat. Cowboys win week eight. 49-29. Like I said, they looked really good. The defense stepped up like always. We had one pick from Diggs. But then the referees took it back. So let's just go over the stats real quick. Prescott was 21 completions, 27 attempts, 250 yards, two touchdowns, and one pick. He also rushed the touchdown in. Like I said, Dak's looking good. From the rushing side, Pollard had 14 carries, 131 yards, three touchdowns. That's what I'm saying. Zeke is done. Get rid of him. Pollard's the feature back now. 14 carries, 131 yards, average 9.4 yards per carry. Sorry, the mask is a little hard to breathe. Three touchdowns, 14 carries, 131 yards, and three touchdowns, average nine yards per carry. Give it to Pollard, he's a new feature back. Prescott had five carries for 34 yards and a touchdown, and the rookie, unsigned rookie Davis had eight carries for 23 yards. He looked pretty decent. He had a touchdown too, but the refs took it back. CeeDee Lamb, five receptions for 77 yards and a touchdown. Schultz, six receptions, 74 yards, and Gallup, four receptions for 49 yards. I think one of Gallup's touchdowns got pulled back too. On the defensive side, Wilson, seven tackles. Curse, six tackles. Diggs, six tackles. Fowler Jr., he looked good. He had five tackles. No picks, but we had a couple sacks. Orizuwa had a sack, and Tink Lawrence had a sack. He was looking good, and Javon Curse had a sack. So we, the defense, Dallas defense, has the most sacks in the NFL. One of the best defenses in the NFL. Defensive, defense wins Super Bowls. Remember that. We have a good quarterback. We have the defense to get it done. We got the quarterback to get it done. We just need that strong running game. And look what we can do. Gallup had all those yards, and look at what we did. We need the running game. I'm sorry, but as long as Pollard can keep on doing this and the defensive can keep stepping up, I don't see what's stopping us. Defensive wins, defense wins championships, remember that. Strong running games win championships with a strong defense. That can get it done. Cowboys are doing really good this year. You know, um, when Dak went down, I thought the season was over, but the season's looking even better than ever. Week eight, Cowboys beat the Bears. 49-29. Cowboys go to 6-2. Bears fall to 3-5. The, for the Bears, Justin Fields, 17-23. 151 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. So Fields did all right. Herbert had 16 carries for 99 yards and a touchdown. Dallas defense couldn't really I mean, they stopped the run, but they, you know, not really. Fields had eight carries for 60 yards and a touchdown. Fields looked good on the ground. For defense, Mooney had, I mean, receiving, Mooney had five receptions, 70 yards. Nikhil Harry from the Patriots, two receptions, 24 yards, and a touchdown. Komet had the other touchdown. Defense, Jackson had seven tackles and an interception, the only interception that Dak threw. Um, Brisker, he had a sack on Dak, and that was about it for the Bears defense. So, Bears fall. They're not looking too good this year. Cowboys win. They're looking really good this year. They're looking like the best team in the NFL. 
Eagles are a fluke. We'll get them back. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. The Halloween special. Week 8 is over. Dallas beats the Bears 49-29. The beginning of the game, we were smashing them. We let the Bears come back, and then we smashed them at the end. Pollard's the new feature back. Don't bring Zeke back. Trade deadline's coming up. Our O-line's playing decent. They're stepping up. Our defense is good. All we really need is that second running back, the feature back, to go along with Pollard. Unless you're going to give Pollard like 20 carries a game and he keeps us up, then we'll be fine. But strong defense and good running games win championships. We have the receivers. We have the quarterback. We have the defense. We have the O-line. We have Pollard. If you're going to make a move for anything, get that second feature back in. Dak's got to hurt MCL. I mean, Zeke's got to hurt MCL. So when he does come back, he's, gonna, he's still going to be slow, you know. He's still going to average one carry per yard, one yard per carry. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Week 8, Cowboys smash the Bears. Going into week 9, Cowboys looking good. Dak's looking good. The defense is looking good. I'm feeling real strong. I'm real happy about this Cowboys team. When Dak went down, I thought it was over. But now we're playing better than ever. Everyone's stepping up. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Thoughts, comments, questions, opinions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Blaze One Sports. How about them Cowboys? Woo!